Hello, welcome to Ndinetaza, your entrepreneurial TV reality game show. My name is Trinus Dongo, but you can call me the Juggernaut. Judges, another exciting episode of Ndinetaza. How are you? By Fine. looking forward to more scoring and unscoring. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're all the way in Chiredzi. Another entrepreneur from Chiredzi, that is Emmanuel, who runs a media business, which includes some graphic designing, printing, videography, photography. What more can I say? Just check out his video and see his story. Check this out. My name is Emmanuel Minyaka or Koma. Uh, I was born in 1990 in Chiredzi. Uh, I was born at Chiredzi General Hospital. I did my primary school, it's one primary school here in Chiredzi. Then I proceeded to my uh, secondary school at uh, Chiredzi Government High School. We are four in our family and I'm the second born. Growing up, like, uh, I enjoyed like uh, uh, going to Sunday school because uh, I grew up in a Christian family. My mom and my dad uh, were leaders in one of the churches in Zimbabwe. I used to play cricket while I was doing uh, my grade seven. Uh, then in secondary, I may not teach to Chakambo, but maybe like I started playing soccer. Uh, but at the same time, growing up, uh, my mom and my dad were into business. So uh, most of the time, um, some of the things like, so that's where the, 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 the entrepreneurship like, started. I always wanted to be a businessman, uh, despite the business that I'm doing uh, back then. There was a time I wanted to do business, but uh, here comes the question like, I was asking myself which business that I'm going to do. So that's when I went to SA, then I worked there for about uh, three years. I came back, uh, I did two, three businesses, uh, you know, but it wasn't like, uh, what I was expected. I knew that I've got something that is in me, that is got something to do with media. You know, growing up like uh, like Tim Rechi, Rema videos, Nerema, Nere photography, or so it started as a hobby, but I didn't want to be in the industry because of many reasons, you know, growing up, she expected something like, if you want to be a doctor, if you see someone, I could drive a motor, like you'll be motivated. But in this field, I wasn't seeing anyone, Angari, in this field, especially in this region, who I could admire. So I didn't want to be a photographer. I didn't want to be a media person. So when I went to SA, uh, I started to investigate, you know, uh, I did a lot of some researches about the industry. That's when I was motivated to be in this field. So when I came back from SA, uh, as now to that time, could indeed get a same business. We provide services like um, uh, graphic designing, we do photography, we do videography, we are also into printing, we do advertising, also do branding. The challenges that we face like in our industry, in the media industry, is that uh, some of the services that we provide uh, are seasonal, like uh, functions, uh, parties, you know, uh, uh, even the, the, the printing side, 
the graphic design side like uh, we face many challenges like uh, uh, through uh, things that we can't control like the pandemic thing uh, the covid 19 uh, issue there you have it it really spoke to me because his product not only speaks to clients but to businesses themselves are you well branded as a business don't go anywhere Dinataza will be right back and there's so much more to unpack including the judge's verdict of the business and his market analysis. Stay tuned. If you are getting married in 2020, we have massive discounts for video and photography, including live streaming the wedding to invited guests worldwide. Call us and tell us about your upcoming wedding. Welcome back. With the advent of COVID-19 and lockdowns, we have had to normalize the abnormal. Not just in our personal lives, but in business. And it is always important to have a sense of direction, especially in tough times. Now we have an opportunity to check out our business campus, which will give us that fortitude and direction, even in such times. Check out our business campus. COVID-19 is a, is a macro environmental phenomenon that has really uh, affected many businesses throughout the world, in many countries. It's, it's a global uh, phenomenon that has really uh, caused quite some uh, uh, challenges uh, predominantly. But I can also say that there are some, you know, few positives that have come about because of uh, COVID-19. People have gotten to understand that uh, business can not only be done uh, through the physical means, uh, COVID-19 has um, uh, made people to pivot the manner in which they do their business, which means there's now an increased usage of digital platforms arising uh, because of uh, COVID-19, which is something that uh, people were uh, not really uh, out for. They, they were not really uh, out for doing business in that manner. But I can say that um, from a customer engagement standpoint, uh, people are now uh, doing business in ways and uh, that are non-conventional methods that they were not using uh, before this uh, phenomenon. Empathy essentially is putting yourself in the shoes of uh, the, the customer. And uh, this time that we are in is a perfect time for companies and entrepreneurs and managers to feel empathetic for their customers because empathy is, is actually a critical customer service quality attribute uh, that really matters in determining a customer satisfaction. You have to understand that um, your customers will find problems in trying to access you. They'll find problems in, 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 uh, in, in so many ways and it matters for you as a business to be empathetic because without being empathetic in times like these, you lose that competitive edge because competitiveness comes from uh, multiple uh, dimensions of uh, customer service and empathy plays such a critical and indispensable role in determining a customer satisfaction. I hope you've learned something that will help you in your business in these times of COVID and in the times of the new normal, new era, new way of doing business. Now I want to hear the marketing analysis of Emmanuel and his business. Does he understand the marketing which is the backbone of his business? Uh, I would say probably the marketing strategy is still at its infancy where not much hasn't been done. So we have got just a few media companies. I watch my show, my show, I think we are about less than 10 in the game. So this gives us much more platform and much more room to cover and doing much more services. And also to notice that uh, the guys who are in the media services are doing bits and pieces of each thing. Maybe some only focus on photography, some do videography, some just do printing, for which most guys are. 
some are into branding and some just advertising. So you see, we just thought it was good just to have maybe one stop shop for everything so that we can cover the customer doesn't have to walk around to move around accessing this service and this and this and that. So this gives us a big opportunity to explain the market in Chiledi. We deal with uh, quite a number of organizations and individuals for our services. We deal with schools, primary schools, secondary schools. We deal with corporates, some other big reputable corporates in Zimbabwe. We also deal with uh, quite prominent personnel uh, when we are doing our photo shoots and the like. And we also cover many events. Uh, this may include weddings, churches, funerals, even private parties. What really makes us different from other competitors? Uh, I would like to say we've managed to gather all the services under one shop. Uh, meaning to say we do graphic designing, we do the printing, we do the advertising, we do the, the, the branding also. So suppose if a, a person comes with his own design or you just have an idea of what they want to, to make, we do the design for them, we actually do the printing for them and we also do the branding. And the other thing, uh, I would say we are the only company in Chiredzi, a local company that really owns outdoor spaces. When I say outdoor spaces, I mean billboards, like those big billboards. We have about, uh, I think, five spaces in Chiredzi where we actually do outdoor advertising, which is actually a new thing in Chiredzi. And I think it's for us as a small company, it's quite an impressive move for a small company to own such, uh, such structures. So this is one of the things that makes us uh, quite unique from other guys. And we also have managed to create a robust uh, feedback platform through our social media platforms like WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram where we actually post our photos or, in, or our materials and everything we do and we allow our customers to be free to respond back to what we do. I mean, the platform is so free to the extent that anybody can say whatever they feel like saying. This is the only way we can actually see how our customer, customers are feeling and how we can actually improve on what we, are, we might have to done wrong or what we are actually doing great. So we are thinking of actually stretching to December this year, actually investing a lot in social media marketing. And we also introduced a, a new project that we call the lockdown photo shoot. We realized that uh, people are no longer coming to our offices to have photo shoots. So instead of them coming to us, we actually go there. We just have to take our equipment and go to the places wherever they are. We're of course maintaining the social distance. We take the photos there and uh, that's how we do business. Okay, so for this Dinatas game show part, uh, we are going to visit one of our clients. Yeah, we've been working with her for quite a long time. And uh, unfortunately, she has also been affected by this COVID-19 pandemic. So we just want to go and visit her and see how she's doing and possibly if we can get uh, maybe more business, with, do business with her. So we are going to offer a free photo shoot while uh, we are there. Then after that, maybe we can go and engage in a, in a fruitful conversation and hopefully we do business with you. I think this one uh, maybe it will come up well. Market, market, market. Bringing your product to the people. 
Did he do it well? I don't know, but the judges will tell us. Stay tuned and after the break, we'll hear what the judges have to say about Emmanuel's marketing strategy and his market analysis. Never before have we imagined a time like this. Limited business activity and staying at home for most of us. But this has to be done. Remember, this time will pass. For now, let's stay clean, sanitize, and mask up. Let us stay safe for a better tomorrow. Surdas, making you look good. Welcome back. I'm excited because we have a lot of marketing well amongst the judges. Judges, here we go. And I'm excited to know how this entrepreneur fared in terms of marks. Where do we start? Judge Rose. I, I do like the fact that he does everything. Okay. I think people should just learn to specialize and then collaborate. And I know you're a fan of specializing and then collaborating. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. So uh, in, in defining his market, I think I gave him 30. Um, okay. And also the fact that he is a marketing manager, I loved that. Okay. Uh, because most entrepreneurs want to do everything on their own. A differentiation, um, uh, the, the fact that he's a one-stop one shop, <laughs> I will not consider it as one of the uh, competitive advantage for him. Okay. I think I don't think it is. Which is like the essence of differentiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just spreading thing. Okay. But the fact that maybe they have outdoor space, I I, I liked it because it means that he, he has more to offer. I don't know what I saw when when they said outdoor space in terms of his product. I didn't really like it. I I thought okay. he could do more. I hope it's him who, who, who's done it. Uh, <laughs> and now that's that's cool. Uh, 38. Um, I love the fact that he's got the customer interaction going on. So that's okay. why I gave him 38. Okay. I love his social media plan and uh, the lockdown photo shoot. That did it for me. Okay. I loved that okay. one. And uh, creative marketing proposition. I'm. He's lifting others. He's, um, I'll give him 63. I'll give him 63. 63 out of 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you have it from Judge Rose. Let's go across the table to Judge Simba. One thing I know for sure is there's too much competition in this type of business. Okay. And there's nothing unique that is doing. Anyone can do it. Finding the market. Yes. Uh, I didn't see anything. I gave you 20. It doesn't even sound clear as you say. 20 yeah. out of 50. Yes. Okay. So you can do better there. You can do better than that. Then how is it different from uh, mm -hmm. from the others in Jira? Yes. Like you said, he's a local leader. And he's offering one-stop shop. And he's got the billboards and everything. I like that. So I gave him 30 for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, was he innovating his marketing plan in the next six months? I also like the idea that he's approaching his customers, the door-to-door -door service. Yes. It's good that he's doing that. So for that, I gave him a bit. And the last one, I just gave him 45. All right. George. No explanation. I like the fact that he knows himself. Okay. And uh, watching his presentation at the beginning, uh, I found Emmanuel not being able to be the voice of the brand and him interacting with customers. Yes. So like Ro said, the most important thing is know your strength. Yes. He's got a marketing manager who can speak on his behalf and yes. represent him well. So defining his market, um, yes. I gave him 30. Okay. I think his marketing manager kind of has a feel of you know what the market wants and what it needs. Yes. Um, differentiating um, from other competitors. Yes. Um, the fact that they're in the industry, they've got billboards, They've got a plan. I, I like the idea that you know they, they, they're making progress in an area, they've seen what others are doing yes. and what others aren't doing, and they're taking competitive advantage. On the marketing plan, very creative. Uh, a lot of people are stuck at home. And yes, yes they've got phones, but if he comes up with a, a nice way to actually 
give people that photo shoot and you know create memories during lockdown. On that, I gave him 35 out of 50. Out of 50. Yes. And um, on his creative marketing proposition, um, I really like the fact that in this time of COVID, he's concerned about his clients and um, what they are currently going through. So on that, I gave him 50 out of 50 out of 100, that's yeah. half, 50%. Judge Titi, yes. could you wrap this up? Um, Emmanuel and his business? Yes. His business is some way I started in marketing, branding, okay. graphic design. So I have a bit of understanding about the harshness of that um, type of business, starting yes. it out and um, actually getting to where he is. He's yes. done a pretty good job considering being an entrepreneur in that space is really hard, like what my fellow judge said. The marketing manager is able to say, we go for schools, we go for corporates, we go for... Um, individuals but they had a clear picture of who it is they were serving, they were serving. and when you're defining yes. your market you have to have a clear picture who am i serving who am i providing the service for and how are they going to get they value get and, and i they must have done well exactly yeah. and what's the score out of 50. yeah so out of 50 i've given them uh 45. wow yes. that's your highest uh <laughs> mark thus far because so they, 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 you know it was really clear it was clear i knew who they were serving Okay. I wasn't, it wasn't, I was, they, were, they have a lot of different customers, yes. but they're clear they can identify those customers. Okay. And that means they can then go in and provide each customer with what they need, Absolutely. which is what marketing should be like. Absolutely. When it comes to differentiating, I like the fact that in a small town, because Shiridi is relatively small, they can offer a turnkey solution and they can also go in and add value. So those spots that they have, Yes. that are that's something that their competitors don't have that turnkey solution in a small town like Chirezi, it makes sense i walk yes. in one-stop shop i get what i want they get to understand me we build that relationship so i think they're able to differentiate themselves because they can provide that turnkey solution absolutely so that works and how well did they score they i give them a 35 okay because i think yeah, they're able to differentiate themselves and take opportunity. As an yes. entrepreneur, that's necessary. Yes. When it comes to their marketing plan, their marketing manager was able to articulate it, was able to include um, social media. So not only are they on the ground just looking at Shirezi, they're digitalizing. Yes. Digital is very important right now. With COVID going on, they're going on there and listening to their clients. Yes. When you're in a space where you don't know what's going to happen in the next six months, communicating with your client is key. Your client needs to understand that you care about them. Your client needs to hear from you. And how did they score? 15. 15 out of 50. 50. Okay. Because I wanted the clarity okay. on marketing. What and they have scored more. Do? They could have scored more if they told you what more they're going to do. Absolutely. Their creative marketing, I thought it was a great idea. I thought going in to see um, the clients and then taking this opportunity where it's not busy to take pictures and help promote their business and also conversate with the client, get to know the client better. I think that was great. I think he could have done more with his social media. Yes. He could have gone in and offered a, a photo competition because no matter how much we have digital devices, people still like cameramen in front of them taking them pictures. A bit of that expertise. Exactly. And how well did they score on their creativity? 25. 25? Yeah. There you have it from the judges and let us see the score. Five hundred and eighty-three points, skyrocketing him to the top. But remember, it's only two entrepreneurs so far out of ten entrepreneurs. Will the other entrepreneurs do better? We'll find out as we go into the rest of the season. And remember, you can watch Ndinetaza anytime on all our social media platforms. Just type Ndinetaza for all platforms and you can check out the seasons and the episodes on YouTube, on Facebook, and on our website. So see you next time, again, same time, same place, watching Dinetaza, watching enterprise and entrepreneurship in Zimbabwe, from our esteemed judges, from the crew behind the scenes, and from myself, the juggernaut. I'm out. Yeah, I would like to thank the Dinetaza crew for providing us like such an, an opportunity for us to be seen like out there 
uh, most the, uh, the last time that we heard about Chiredzi uh, is when like uh, uh, we can recall about the Pukunu Pukunu hitmaker. Yeah,